gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? You never gave me a chance, and for that, you'll fry like a pork sausage. Not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more the unpredictable. Hello. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. I knew he wasn't a real doctor. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. Ooh! Ow! Hey, nice one. Yikes! Huh? He's not a real guy, Sam! Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damned ugly time bomb. Let's leave this criminal cesspool pronto. Good idea, Sam. Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. Mind if I drive? Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. <laughs> Sam, is pronto a real word? <laughs> Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'll never forget all you've done here today. Is pronto a real word? <laughs> Well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, Max? <laughs> Sam, either termites are burrowing through my skull, or one of us is ticking. Oops. Oh, yeah. Max, where should I put this so it doesn't hurt anyone we know or care about? <laughs> out the window, Sam. There's nothing but straight <laughs> out there. This game rules. I hope there was nobody on that bus. Nobody we know, at least. Hello? 
Yes? Yes? Yes. No. Really? Well, the same to you, Mac. Another confused census taker? <laughs> Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling <laughs> assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission, we'll be meeting a bonded city courier out on the street. Ooh, smells like a fiercely thickening plot. Oh man. I have played this before, like maybe two or three times, but it was a long time ago and I, I love just seeing this dialogue all over again. This is, this is bold and common. So yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Phil, I wish there was a fucking shark in Joy. That would do. That would oh. We've been through a lot together, this TV and I. This... <laughs> this is Paw Patrol, yes! This phone represents unhindered contact with the outside world. Until they realize we don't pay the bills. This is no time for chit chat. Can I listen to my message? Oh boy, we've got a message. Gee, I hope it's something eerily provocative. Hi, I'm calling about your upcoming auction of confiscated automatic weapons. Do you sell to convicted felons? Oh, my little clients. Hey, who are we to discriminate? Maybe I can go farther on the docking. Is that maybe better? This is no time for chit chat. Honestly, I I think I heard that one from the answering machine for the first time too. Maybe they're random. Hello. Uh, okay. So how how's my mic now? Since I've changed it a bit, I changed the uh, docking a bit. I don't really tr like dropping the game audio. Uh, if I can help it. I prefer ducking. No more messages, huh? This phone represents unhindered contact with the outside yeah. until they re yes. Vertical silverware storage. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I um, I remember. It's Max. Not Max. One. Oh, I rat hole. It's Max. Thank you, Max. All our money is invested in that rat hole. Cash. Never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. So at, at least one playthrough I kind of just uh, got completely stuck because I didn't know you could get the cash from the rat hole. What else is here? Ant farm. It's Max's roach farm. It's Max's Roach Farm. It's a black light that Max uses to illuminate his rare 60s posters. One mighty fine light switch. Oh, cool. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh. 
We don't go upstairs. Not since the accident. Joe, you want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. Brutal. But very true to life. And there's one for your old man. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. Yeah, it has come in it. Can visit Flint's paper, I guess not. Guess he had it coming to him. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte! You're such an adorable urchin, Max. Put this in. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I just put it in. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can use Max as an item. That was also very confusing first time I played. Oh, it's a cute little hypercephalic kitten. He's adorable. Let's take him home and put tape on his feet. Jesus. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. Oh yeah, right. Sorry guys, I swallowed your orders for safekeeping. But now I can't seem to hock them back up. I won't pick that kitten up. I don't know where he's been. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Your head is disturbingly disproportionate to your body. It's a vocal cord. You'd be amazed how much room they take up. <laughs> hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Don't get smart with me, bub. Or my partner will floss every last crevice on his body with your whiskers. That's unsanitary, Sam. Hey there, you talk. Could you try coughing up our orders again? Sure. <laughs> Sorry, no dice. Maybe I could help, Sam. I just love to turn this guy inside out. Ooh, that gives me an idea. <laughs> According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was a whole point. <laughs> Maybe we should check it out when we've got nothing better to do, like guinea time. Oh, that was the whole point. <laughs> Hey, I don't think Mr. Bosco's voluntarily giving away his money. Oh, I'm real terrified. A dog and a rabbit. Ooh, scary. Max, the smart-ass kid doesn't think we're scary. What do you think about that? That's telling him, little buddy. I think that punk learned a valuable lesson, Sam. Me too, Max. I didn't realize that the lower lip could stretch completely over the head. Amazing. I see that old Mr. Bosco is generously giving away his profits to the underprivileged ski mask wearing youth of the neighborhood again. <laughs> really bad food. Bosco's guns, liquor, baby needs. Just a bunch of intoxicated pigeons. I think the generic sound effects they use in all LucasArts games are just the uh, top of the line. Somebody's been ripping off the U.S. Postal Service. Yeah, and it's the uh, fucking clowns in Washington, all right? Steal the mail? Are you nuts? <laughs> it is never... Hold on. I love this car. 
You're a sick puppy, Sam. This is a sick way to say. Let's look at the pigeon. Just a bunch of intoxicated pigeons. I don't speak pigeon. I have no use for pigeons. Nah, Max would just see how many of them he could stuff into his gaping maw. Okay, let's get out of here. Hi there. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Tom Nation and Blimey, they ain't here. So now what do we do? Now? Now we get in the bus and look for them, you idiot. I knew that. Huh? Get out of Mr. Bumpus' way, you partially clad varmints. Who was that? I don't know, but if it weren't for the carefree innocence of this carnival, I'd be breaking his kneecaps. You're a demonic little imp, Max. Now, who can tell me what the fuck the, uh, the little guy's accent was? Cushman I, I Brothers know. Shows. I could never figure it out. Hall of Oddities. Weird. Creepy. <laughs> My favorite line from the game. Are you the ticket taker? Sorry boys, we are closed. I can't let you in. Insurance reasons, you know. Pigeon English. Who are those misanthropes at the gate? Which misanthropes? The short one with the bad hairpiece, and the tall one with the dark flinty eyes. Hey, I just work here. Anything else? His accent is just French. He's a, he's a French Turk. <laughs> I think he sounds like a... Like a... British uh, dude asks to do a Texas accent, but he thinks the Australian accent is the Texas accent. Let us in, Oleo Breath. Nope. Don't you know who we are? I could not care less. Yeah. I want a corn dog. You'd better have a better reason than that if you expect me to let you in. I'll be back. I can hardly wait. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. Check this out, Jack. We're the freelance police. Here's our authorization to be here. Now let us in before we replace you with a cheap renewable fuel source. Let me run this by the boss. Uh, I guess you can go in. But be careful. Cannibals can be dangerous to your health. <laughs> that was needlessly cryptic. I'd be peeing my pants if I wore any. Everything seems to be in order here. And you're right, you Sam, look like over there! How dare you call in the authorities without consulting me? Well, I tried talking to you, but you were off wallowing in your own self-pity. Yeah, but... It's them! Hi, I'm Shep Cushman, and this is my brother Burl. Welcome to our carnival. What's left of it? I'm Sam. He's Max. We savagely protect the rights of innocence. Even cruelly twisted ones such as yourself. Selves. Whatever. Well, you yes. sound like just the guys to solve our little problem. Walk this way. God, that sound is so loud. See this melted block of ice? How could we miss it? This used to be our main attraction. Your main attraction was a block of ice? <laughs> Don't be dense. Our main attraction was a genuine, authentic, real life, Bigfoot, on ice. Hey, let me get this straight. You want us to go traipsing all over the country looking for a soggy Bigfoot? I've never been traipsing before. Does it hurt? 
but Bruno must be returned to us. He's a brutish, ignorant beast with no sense of right or wrong. Hey, who isn't? Besides, he's kidnapped our second main attraction. Is that the block of ice? No, it's Trixie the giraffe neck girl from Scranton. She disappeared at the same time Bruno did. We can only assume that the monster took her when he made his escape. I guess Max and I could search for your missing freaks, but we'll need free run of the carnival to look for clues. Yeah, and free corn dogs, so we can yuke all over ourselves. No problem. Here's an all-day free pass. Leave everything to us, and we'll have those abominations of nature back in your protective care before you can read the Koran. Didn't he fight Godzilla? Nice. Wonder exactly how many dated jokes will. Bruno the Frozenest Bigfoot. Look for clothes. Man or chicken dumpling. He looks delicious. Hi. Hello. It's a mange ridden tuft of Bruno's Sasquatch hair. I think it would make a swell toupee for balding computer programmers. Don't be stupid, Max. It's a melted ice block. Ugh. Human Enigma. <laughs> He's a nice guy, but sort of a drip. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Insect lad. How Kafkaesque. Hi. I don't think these guys are relevant at all. Jesse James severed hand. And it's still twitching. Oh, I can just take this. Jesse James severed hand. And it's still twitching. Cool. So this is what happens to unsuccessful third-party presidential candidates. <laughs> that's fucking Beto right there. That's um, what's the other guy's name? But I don't know this guy. The other guy that looked exactly like Beto. Uh, fucking uh. Uh, the guy that everyone called a rat. I don't know. Whatever. I cannot take the gun. I already... Sam already had, like, his own giant gun. But if, if he gets to use it, then... Don't remember. Let's look around. It's one of those locks you can shoot a bullet through. Cool. I think the lock's already being used to keep me from entering that trailer. It's the door to Trixie's trailer. That sounds like a country western song, Sam. I can't use these things together. Max can buy food. Oh, yeah, I remember this. It's one of those impossible to win carny games that have been ripping off the American consumer for decades. I love capitalism. It's a fishbowl magnifying lens. My head's already shaped like a fishbowl. Oh man, good thing I remember which items I need. I don't remember which button closes the inventory. It's a wholesome whack -a rat game. I can't pick that up. Yeah.
Gaming. I won something. Oh, I did win something. Hey, no, 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 no. I, uh, I get out. <laughs> <laughs> Can I live the game? No. Press escape. I didn't win. Just need to pick up the item. Oh, flashlight. Hey, this crummy prize doesn't come with any light bulb. Nice. If I didn't know that this guy was a highly skilled professional, I'd be very afraid. So the server will end. Me hitting everybody with, with the bang hammer. Excuse us, but we need some help, and although you seem dangerously unequipped brain-wise, we've come to you for advice. Huh? Well, is this how they what do you know about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who wants to know? We're the freelance police, and we're in a race against time. And we're barefoot. All I know about Bruno is what the Cushmans tell me. Well, that was useless. You might want to try the Tunnel of Love, though. Rumor has it that one of Bruno's buddies hangs out in there. Oh, let's go, oh. Sam. Oh, hush. Do you have any idea what happened to Trixie? Trixie, the giraffe girl from Scranton? No, Trixie, the talkative poodle. She's my best customer. She used to ride the cone of tragedy for hours on end. I love the way her neck used to whip back and forth when I cranked it up to full speed. Your sadism is a credit to your profession. Whoa, you're a big boy. And that's why I sit down all the time. Do you guys all go to the same tattoo parlor or what? Actually, these aren't tattoos. It's my natural skin. Do you guys all go to the same tattoo? Actually, me and my partner want to ride the cone of tragedy. That's right. We've lost our will to live. I'm not supposed to, but what the heck? You two look like a couple of caring, non-litigious mammals. Strap yourselves in, and I'll turn on the cone. I think this is a way to get an item or two. Oh. Fucking down sampled heartbeats. Ah, CD games. Ooh, I feel tragically empty. Me too. It's as though an integral here, right? part of my essence has been ripped from my being. Let's do it again. Maybe later, chum. All well, these games came originally without any voiceovers, and I can't imagine playing them without voiceovers. Hey, what happened to my carefully collected box of useless junk? Yeah, just lost it all while flapping around. Will you help me? Depends. What do you want? Where'd all my cool junk go? It must have fallen out of your coat while you were on the ride. Here's a claim ticket. Take it to the lost and found. Cool. Get our item. Cripes on toast. Nothing personal, but you're the single ugliest thing we've ever seen. 
Well, there was that computer game developers conference. <laughs> have you lost something? I lost a whole bunch of neat junk. You must have been gifted with psychic powers to make up your obvious physical shortcomings. Bad deal. <laughs> have you got a claim ticket? Sure. Wait here while I search through the back room. Well, here's all the stuff we've collected off the Kono tragedy today. It's all yours. I feel whole again. Oh, I did get a new item. It's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says World of Fish on its side. I wonder how that got in there. Ah. Location. A strength meter I shudder to think of the number of promising dates cut short by this fiendish contraption. I don't think I possess the psychotic strength needed to ring the bell. Can Max do it? Hey, Max. What? Can you ring that bell? Sure. You're my hero, little buddy. I think we need something stronger there. I get into the trailer. I don't remember. Put Max at the end of first row. Why? Hey, this means we can ride free all day. Does it say anything about corn dog, Sam? Sorry, little buddy. Hey, it's can you rearrange button. your items however you want? It's a powerful Yeah, you can. I didn't know this. It's my little but. I thought they all just go in their place. So this guy mentioned the uh, Tunnel of Love. Try that. You know, I dated a Siamese twin poodle once. I think that would be twice, Sam. What can I do for you? <sighs> Is there anything else you can tell us about your escape, Bigfoot? Well... He's a Bigfoot. He's escaped. He's a menace to society. What more could you possibly need to know? He's right, Sam. I don't think my colossal head could retain any more knowledge. What can you tell us about Trixie? She's a very caring, sensitive young woman. If you care about that kind of stuff. <laughs> she used to sing folk songs to the other freaks in her trailer. You ever heard a Scrantonese folk song? No. You don't want to. Oh, there was one other thing. She likes her men like the Statue of Liberty. Green and rusty. Tall and dense. Who are those guys we bumped into out by the gate? Uh, what guys? One was a short guy with big hair. The other one was a tall guy with big hands. Oh, you must be talking about internationally renowned recording star Conroy Bumpus. And his assistant, Lee Harvey. Bumpus? Lee Who's Harvey. Conroy Bumpus? He's a loon. Insane. And a country and western singer, The Boot. He actually wanted to buy Bruno and Trixie from us. Boy, was he steam when he found out that we didn't have them anymore. I'll bet life is an unending torment for you guys. Actually, it's not so bad. Speak for yourself. Have you ever thought about surgery? What for? Oh. Uh, well, it's back to the Bigfoot hunt. What's gonna help us get inside the trailer and, uh... Yeah, I can't, I can't take that. At the tunnel of love. Wanna ride the tunnel of love? Yippee! Bait enough here is really. Better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Milton. Heaven is a place where nothing ever happens. David Byrne. <laughs> 
I can't talk to that. Yeah, you should use the flashlight here, but it doesn't work. Wow, a loving recreation of that Evelyn Morrison classic, Revenge of the Gill Guy. You really should get out more, Sam. I can't use these things together. Just another random acts of violence. Just another random... Thank goodness today's leaders react more calmly to negative opinion polls. It's a cleverly hidden secret door that looks like a cheap looking painting of a castle. Oh. We can't get there. Yeah, the sound effect. Well, that was fun. My little body's covered with swan pimples. Hold on. I thought this got saved, but it didn't. Who those sound effects? Am I actually running? Rolling. Oh, it didn't save those settings. Have to check. Because more and more this music sounds familiar. It doesn't sound like the new. Hey, yeah. I did have a bulb in. There was a bulb in the closet. Let's get that bulb. But what's a fucking black light? Wait to speed up the. Can get Max into this light. See how he looks. It's a black light. I'd better turn it off first. We'll turn it off. Then. Yeah, there we go. It fits perfectly. Do I need to put this lens on it? I can't use these things together. Well, I guess now we have a light bulb. This is no time for chit chat. Oh boy, we've got a message. Gee, I hope it's something eerily provocative. Hey! You're the one who cut me off on Highway 364! You're a jerk! Yeah, so there! Let's see. Yeah, I don't wanna. Don't want to waste power. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure our bill isn't great, or rather, the money we. Yeah, I can't really remember all the items that I need to pick up right away. <laughs> Sure, I'll be forgetting more and more as we go on. Of course, it's been more than a month since I played this, so I forgot everything. Why oh, yeah, the car did the solo? Is... Want to ride the tunnel of love again? Why not? Uh, 
It's, it's a good kind of cartoon car. Ah, there we go. Horn dogs. You don't click this, you just... Something there. It's a fuse box. Okay, can I get to it? I can't pick that up from here. I can't use that from here. I can't talk. I can't use that from here. How do I get it? Do I need to fix the fuse box? It's a cheap looking painting of a castle. I can't talk to that. I can't use that from here. That ride continues to amuse me. I think we're supposed to do something in there, Sam. No, we're supposed to do something in there. Oh, wait, I think I know. Hold on. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I need any extra. Let's ride the TOL again. If you insist! It's a bit of a confusing interface because you need to equip the flashlight first and then you can use your regular cursor. It's a oh. nifty flash. Corn dogs, gimme! Yeah. No way. Nothing like rotting corn dogs to lend ambience to a tunnel of love. Why, it's old Mr. McReady, the janitor. I guess he's off the list of suspects. Funny how Mr. McReady looks so much more lifelike now that he's dead. It's a fuse box. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. No, don't put him in water either. I don't remember if you, need, you needed to put him in water. <laughs> Just yeah, another so. random acts of violence. Okay. I can't walk through this door. It's not real. <laughs> I can't walk through this door. You just said it's, it's not fake. real. It's a cheap looking painting of a castle. Bro, you just said it's fake. I can't talk to that. This is a completely unusable. I can't walk through this door. It's not real. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I can't use these things together. He looks a little busy. I opened a freaky door, fake door. He said it's a fake door, and now it's not a fake. What are you talking? About? It's a cheap-looking painting of a castle. I can't pick that up. Oh wait, maybe I just need to move the axe. It's Max. I can't pick that up. No, really. I can't pick that up. Max. This is a completely un- This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. I leave here and come back. I feel like I need to pull that axe. But it won't let me. I can't pick that up. 
Oh, okay, I guess let's leave if possible. I think somebody needs to flip a switch before this thing starts again. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I can flip a switch, can I? Can go there, can go anywhere out of this hole. Oh, if nobody remembers what to do, I'm going to look this up. Guess I'm stuck here. Oh. Excuse me, you just said it's a fake door. Now it's... I can't walk through this door. It's not real. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Oh well. Maybe they want a banana. Get off of there, Max. Why? Check this out. I'll never show it again. You never did. Cool. Okay. Moving on. Couches spud us in his native habitat. Who are you? I'm Doug, the Mole Man. Who are you? Well, I'm, I'm Doug, Sam. the He's Mole Max. Man. We fight crime. And we like long walks along the beach. What do you want from me? Do you know anything about Bruno the Sasquatch? Bruno the Sasquatch? Why, the stories I could tell you. Stop him, Sam. He's gonna tell us a story. I first met Bruno 25 years ago in Saigon. <laughs> There was a time we all had our taxes done by a platypus, and... Shut up! For God's sake, just shut up! Look, we just want to know where Bruno is now. Gee, I have no idea where he went. Maybe you should talk to my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah, my uncle Shavul. He's really into Bigfoots. When I was a kid, he used to tell me stories about giant Bigfoot parties, where sure all the Bigfoots big of the feet. world would get together and dance Bigfoot dances, and... That's great, kid. Where can we find your uncle? I don't know. He disappeared a short time after he helped build the largest ball of twine on Earth. I think I may weep openly. Look, you two seem trustworthy. Oh, we are. <laughs> you can trust us as far as we can throw you. So if you bring me some pecan-flavored candy, I'll give you my key to Trixie's trailer. I'll also Why tell you a it? big secret about how Bruno escaped. Why not tell us now? Because I'm hungry. Damn it. What the heck are you, anyway? I'm a mole man. Figure it out. <laughs> I think he's a mole man, Sam. You know, watching too much TV is super bad for the eyes. 
Why do all you squishy, poorly focused blobs say that? Never mind. Check this out, the lighting from the TV is lighting up the dock. I don't know why. But it is affecting the dock only. You know, watching too much TV is super bad for the eyes. Why do- Never mind. What the- I, I think he- Are you sure there's nothing more you can tell us about Bruno? I've told you all that I know. You should really talk to my uncle, Shavuul. Oh yeah, I'll also give you my- I think that's all for now. Fine, you can find your own way out. This guy's just slipped. This looks like the Tunnel of Love reset switch. Just like at the bowling alley. There, that should get things running again. Oh, we go. Maybe, maybe it's a palette thing. Only some colors get get shaded dynamic. Doesn't that hurt? A lot. I suppose there's a trick to eat. I just haven't been able to figure it out. Your ineptitude gives hope to all of us further down on the food chain. Is yeah, there anything inspired. else I can do for you? Did you ever talk to Bruno before he escaped? How could I? He was in a block of ice. Hello, Pope. What do you know about Trixie? Absolutely nothing. We never talk to each other. Ever. Are you sure you don't know anything about Conroy Bumpus? He is a country singer, right? Sorry, but I don't know much about him. I'm more of a mumbo fan. Anything else? I bet you can't make flames shoot out of your butt. Take a hike. Amateur. I bet you can't make your flames reach the top of the tent. Watch me, Jojo. Anything else? Oh, I bet that's a puzzle. Eh. Good. I'm sure that's a puzzle. Hall of Oddities. You need to burn something. Well, where do we go next? You know, we get the candy. If Max spontaneously grew antlers, he still wouldn't be this ugly. Snuckies. Oh. It's one of those jumbo size all you can drink Snuckies cups. It's almost as big as my head. This is what they do to merry-go-round horses who won't stay with the pack. <laughs> I'd ride this fiendish quarter grabber, but my lumbago's acting up. No way, Max will spook the horse. Battleships? I don't know, maybe that's further in the game, I don't remember. Okay, now I'm now I'm completely positive this isn't the Roland music I'm running. Good time for a break while I reset that. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, you're gonna have to wait, buddy. I gotta go to the bathroom.
I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. Should be better. Hi, Rio, welcome. Look at in a freaking store. We are now on uh, Roland MT thirty two. It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max portable car bomb games. Oh, sounds cool. What else is here? It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> genuine Native American drums, manufactured by genuine Native Koreans. No way. Max tried to swallow one the last time. Oh shit, this fucking box of candy, I missed this It's so a many box times. of pecan flavored candies. This blends I gotta into go to the, the other bathroom. Crap. Okay, Jesus Christ, Max. It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. He's not my type. <laughs> Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky you for another six years before I could run this place. There is stained plastic. But enough about me. What can I do for you? My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned. I need a bathroom. They're in the back. Here's the key. It's an awfully big rasp attached to that keychain. Out of toilet paper? <laughs> no, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. The keys? The restrooms. You need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? I think we're, we're supposed to get that rasp from Max on his way back. Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Quickly get it. Does his business. Stop! Get over here! Were you going to leave here without paying for the- I can't believe we can't shoplift. Heavens no! Here's some money. I'll also take this box of pecan-flavored candies. Fine. God, imagine if you had limited money and you had to- and you had to make more money by playing the- No, oh, Max, stop! Stop! There. Shit! Okay, well, I was just gonna steal the Easy key. The next time, I guess. Bullshit. All right, well, now that I have the stupid candy, <coughs> give it to the guy. to do this stupid ride anymore. Let's ride the TOL again. If you insist! I hope I don't have to do the whole rigmarole again. Oh, good. Excellent. Very good. Here, I thought you might like some candy. Thanks. The God's my favorite. Hey, you're all right. Take this key as a token of my appreciation. Absolute motherfucker. Wow, this is some key. Okay, Sam, let's get the hell out of here. Wait, I've got a great story you should hear. Ah! 
Keep it short, kid. My partner's got a low tolerance for long stories. Well, it all started the day before today. I remember it like it was yesterday. It's not widely known, but Trixie had fallen in love with Bruno. Every night, she'd sneak into the freak show tent and read to him what she imagined to be his favorite bedtime stories. She seemed as happy as a self-mutilated parody of nature could be. But she could never truly be happy until her beloved Bruno was free. Finally, she decided to do something about Bruno's predicament. She begged Flambe, the fire breather, to free the Bigfoot from his icy cage. Flambe took pity on poor Trixie and liberated Bruno. And the happy couple haven't been seen since. Hell of a story, ain't it? Isn't there something problematic about that or some such? Anyway, this guy sucks. This is our key. I hate this guy. Screw this guy. Hey, Spud. What? I think that lied. Get out. I can't believe Sam didn't just shoot the lock. Fucking huge gun from the intro. Hey Max, come here. What? Watch this. Well, this is undignified. Nope. Oh boy! <laughs> Ooh, they're genuine Scrantonese potions of fertility. Let's take them. I don't think we should risk being any more fertile than we already are, Max. It's a Does big that imply closet. that they both fuck a lot? a big girl. These lotions remind me of traumatic childhood trips to the groomer. I think Sam just implied that they both fucked a lot. It's a big closet. Trixie's a big girl. Open the closet. Oh. It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Roomy Eyes, Florida. <laughs> I'm sure that they do, Phil. I'm I'm sure that they do. It is it is it's possible. It's can happen. Are you as confused as I am? More so. Why is this game called Car Bomb, anyway? To avoid getting the pantsuit off us. But you don't wear any pants. Don't remind me. I'm concerned about this Conroy Bumpus character. Don't worry, Sam. We'll mop up the floor with his cheap toupee. I wonder where Trixie is. I shudder to think of the gross kissy-poo noises she's making with her boyfriend, Bruno. I wonder where Bruno is. I'm still trying to figure out where I am, Sam. Is there any fan art of Trixie and Bruno? You're looking hale ship? and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. Well, that's all. Anything in the box? It's a hope chest. I hope it's... Hey, there's a neat costume in here. I can't use these things together. It's a hope chest. I hope it's filled with more gold than my poor eyes can stand. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I've read all the comics. I don't know if Max is... Nude it's a still walker's or... costume. What do I do with that cost? I think we got a pony.
Again, I don't know. Sam is barefoot. So that is that is very strange already. Think they think Sam is just uh... well. Sam Sam wouldn't be in a barefoot is legal group on Facebook because he's not very passionate about anything, including being barefoot. So where do we want to go next? We have several locations. Give me an idea. Um, can be bothered to make a, a fucking poll. I'm sure I can make a poll in the chat, but. Okay, Gator Golf. I haven't been to any of these other locations except one of the. Gator Golf. Wow. This would look great in our office. I don't remember if it was Peter Chan or Steve Purcell that drew these backgrounds. They're very good. It's about time they closed this senseless, cruel, politically incorrect attraction. It was my favorite. What is it? It looks like a couple of snakes. Everything looks like a couple of snakes to you. Two snakes coming together on the black sun. The gear is very cool because it wears sweater. Yeah. There's a person. He's repulsive, but I can't take my eyes off of him. What is he? He's spitting dip. Don't spit. Not that I care, but what made you think of putting alligators and golf together? Arv, do we I'm have Conan on the on the fucking like this, film this list? This place used to be a miniature golf course. Then, back in '89, the swamp flooded the whole shooting match, windmills and all. Next thing I knew, I had a half-submerged miniature golf course crawling with ten-foot-long gators. I hate when that happens. Tell me about it. So I turned the golf course into a driving range. If we don't have Conan the Barbarian on the list, uh, go ahead and add it for me. Don't go anywhere. Oh, Where would I go? Hey, golf pro guy. What? So what kind of handicap does your average Bigfoot have? Bigfoots? Don't get me started about Bigfoots. I used to have a Bigfoot. He was my star attraction. I'm beginning to sense a theme here. I kept him fed and sheltered. And how does he repay me? In tens and twenties? No, he ran away. Did he have help? Well, someone must have given him that there acetylene torch to cut through his protective ankle wear. <laughs> protective ankle wear? Okay, shackles. So the Bigfoot was through here. Oh, so the Dunk the Beast thing was just a Bigfoot attack. I mean, yeah, Pope, you can do that if you're brave. Do you know what this thing is? That used to be my golf ball retriever. One of the gators bit the end clean off it. Until I get my new one, I have to get the golf balls out of the water manually. Isn't that dangerous? Take a look. <laughs> what do you think of Conroy Bumpus? Conroy Bumpus? He's my idol. I've named all my kids and pets after him. I built a beer can shrine to him in the garage. I live for the day when I can meet him in person. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. 
Damn, you, this guy's a stat. Hmm, I've got Conroy an inexplicable stand. urge to buy some suitcases. Don't Get even jump around, city boy. In the jet. This must be a popular teen hangout. <laughs> it was. Then we had that problem. Well, that's what Friday kid. was yesterday. The court made me destroy my best gator over that. <laughs> well, what can I do for you? This must be a popular teen hangout. It was. Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? His hand is stuck up. I think it was yesterday. Uh, it's a s weather fuck Saturday. Weather fuck Saturday, you fucking loser. Max, let's go. Let's and the proprietor the has no idea what happened to his Bigfoot? That's what he said, Mr. Bumpus. You know, Lee Harvey, I'm beginning to think that vast unseen forces are aligned against my quest for a Bigfoot. Ditto. Ditto? <sighs> hey, look it! It's those two, uh, what was that word, Sam? Misanthropes? Yeah, misanthropes! <laughs> what are you, anyway, the president of the hair club for short people? This is Mr. Conroy Bumpus, famed country and western star. I'd suggest you show him some respect. Yeah, well, he looks like a lounge lizard to me. And I'll bet his scalp itches from that bad rug. Maybe you should watch yourself, little furball. Yeah, well, I've got more hair on my fuzzy little butt than you do on that hollow country head of yours. Okay, I've had enough. Nobody makes fun of my hair. Still, you flea-bitten pole cat. Here you go, boss. No. What a jerk! It's a nice five iron, though. Get me the hell out of here! I'm. Any ideas of on Conroy Bumpus's accent yet? Get me the hell out of here! Why, Max? I'm working Golf on clubs. It. Oh man! How does this work? How can I aim? Forgot. Oh. Can I hit that? Hey! I'm scared, Sam! Yes, I can, but it doesn't help.
Trying to figure out what I should do. I think I think it's on the gators, not on any of them. Yeah, trying to hit the clown on the nose. Yeah, it works. Doesn't do anything. Well, let's try and hit a gator. Get me the hell out of here! He's a track the gator, so I can move them. There's something else that I should be throwing. I think I remember. I need fish. It's a bucket of golf balls. Oh, cool. I can just take them. Nice alligators. Do you like roaches? It's Max. Well, get around, man. I'm gonna get some fish. Down to a uh, fish world. World of fish. I hear a far-off rumble. Look at that render. Copper is tiny, bro. Weird. Yippee. Fish feed. What a hunk of filet. I'm naming it Bubbles. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. It's a bucket of fish. Oh, is this the full bucket of fish? Yeah, that's exactly what we need. To release our friend, I think. <laughs> Are you liking the new Roland music? I think it's pretty. I'm scared, Sam. I don't know. Maybe? Does it does it sound like him? I'm scared, Sam. All I know is Max sounds a lot more rabbity in uh in the Telltale games. I'm scared, Sam! And in this game he just sounds like he has a, I don't know which American accent, but one of them. I don't know of any of these. I think this should work. Don't go there. Go. Oh, really? It's the same person. Wow. Imagine being typecast to play cartoon dog. What other cartoon dogs has this the guy played? Don't go 
Don't go there. What I'm scared, you? Sam. Just hold on, Max. Kingdom Hearts, wow. That's a more demanding role than your average Goofy. If I know anything about Kingdom Hearts, it's that Goofy is pretty hardcore. Not as hardcore as Donald. I don't have to do this twice. Either. Okay. Hey, this is you've made a path across the driving range. That certainly took long enough. Shut up, Max. I hate that game. Is that because you're a lousy golfer? You're an irritable bunny today, aren't you? Yeah, well, why don't you try sitting in this smelly booth while I beat the hell out of helpless fish? Maybe I should just leave you there. Did I mention what a lousy golfer you were? You suck, Sam. I hate it when my friends fight. Sam! Hey, what? I found another sample of Sasquatch fur in Mange in the booth. While I spent mm. my young life waiting, just sitting there, in that horrible booth, waiting. Jeez, Max, get over it. Okay. Here, you carry it. I'd better. I'm not sure where you'd put it. That's none of your business, Sam. It's a swatch of Bruno's fur. So is this... It's a hunk of bleached blonde Sasquatch fur and mange. Suitable for framing. Bleached blonde. Is this a different Sasquatch? It's a swatch of Bruno's fur and mange. How do I open this door? This is a completely unusable thingamabob. It's a snow globe from the Mystery Vortex in scenic Goldwump, Washington. Let me see. Take a look. Too bad it's empty or we could shake it. Like this? Yeah. What's that writing on the bottom of the globe? To Elmo the Bigfoot. Keep on trucking. Shavul the Mole Man. Oh. Hey, maybe Shavul's at the Mystery Vortex. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something. Anything else in here? Well, that's cool. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to show us how, how, how the whole animation thing. So where do we go next? Ball of twine, fish, or any any of the stores? We can get that rat. The mystery vortex. Give me an objective. I hate making decisions for myself. Good one. I don't 
world's largest meme. Well, too late. We're at a different type of vortex. Vortex of twine. Holy cat heaven. How long do you suppose it took them to wind this immense ball of twine? More importantly, how did they get it to stop rolling once it was all wound? Now there's something you don't see every day. What the hell are you talking about, Sam? We dump our fish heads out the window all the time. Yeah, but these are halibut. Words like big and large only begin to describe this thing. I think stupid and inane would be useful additions. Not to mention grotesque. Fun facts about the world's largest ball of twine. If laid out from end to end, the ball would stretch from here to the far side of Jupiter. Also, scientists theorize that by 2053, the sheer weight of the ball will push the Earth out of its orbit, propelling our planet on a collision course with the Sun. Good thing my life expectancy is only six years. Way to take the short view, little buddy. Only 30 more years, folks. According to the plaque, this is a shaving from the first foot of the ball of twine. I didn't know it was old enough to shave. If I'm gonna need any string in this game, it'd better be a longer piece. Yeah. It's a one two hundred thousand scale model of the actual ball of twine. And it's only one two hundred thousand as stupid as the actual ball of twine. <laughs> there are really things like this in America. This is what America has. Sort of like historical building. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I can't cut off a piece of twine in the middle. That would destroy its status as the biggest ball of twine in the world. But I can take some twine. He looks like my 8th grade English teacher, but with more warmth. Shouldn't you be posing for a painting with a pitchfork? <laughs> Can I help you? The Midwest, right? You just go down a highway and you find you find stuff like this. How'd you get this job anyway? I clawed my way to the top, trampling those foolish enough to get in my way. You haven't seen an eight-foot-tall woodland creature answering to the name of Bruno around here, have you? Are you talking about Bruno the Bigfoot? Yeah. He and a bunch of other Bigfoots helped build the ball of twine back in 56. Why, the stories I could tell. No! I've heard enough stories Damn, today. Were they paid for Have it? you seen Bruno recently? I haven't seen Bruno in 30 or so years. Is he in trouble? That depends on your definition. I like to use the one that involves spiny echidna. Well, is there anything else I can help you with? What's with all the fish guts flying past the window? Those are leftovers from our last fish delivery. Our famous rotating restaurant has fresh fish flown in every day from the world of fish in Mosquitoville, Missouri. As Conroy Bumpus passed through here, Who's that? World's longest He's a country death. western star gone berserk with power. Oh, I wouldn't know him if I saw him. I don't get out much. This ball isn't really made from a continuous piece of twine, is it? Uh, yep. Yeah. It's the longest piece of twine in the world by 92 yards. It's places like this that make me wish I were Canadian. Well, they've got one of these too, but half of it's French. <laughs> it's places <laughs> like this that make me wish I were Canadian. Are they? That'll be all for now. Take a leg, Max. Hey, look! It's pre-rendered. 
That's one long loose end. Too bad we can't reach it from this side of the deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. Yeah, you're right. I agree. Oh. These exposed wires look like they're part of the restaurant control mechanism. They look like overcooked pasta to me, Sam. of the diner via these mounted binoculars. That's <laughs> the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Well, maybe not. I just I just clicked randomly. I don't remember that. It's a conveniently located pair of mounted binoculars. this work oh boy I'm gonna have to look this up I can unless I need to put a quarter in here I'm clicking my ass off I'm sure this is somehow useful but I'll be damned if I know how have any coins though. Wait. It's more money than I can't use these things together. I can't use these things that together. It doesn't let me use the lever. I remember having to use it, but it doesn't let me move it. So either it's stuck behind the wire because I put in the wires or there's some other trick to it. Okay, well, look around. I'm sure this is somehow okay. useful. He looks safe enough. <laughs> you know, you could go blind if you keep staring at things like that. I'm f concentrating. Indeed. What you doing? Using my telekinetic powers to bend my tools. Why? To help me fix the rotating mechanism on this f***ing diner. Well, that makes sense. Percent sign, Amer sand, dollar sign. <laughs> and colon, semicolon, too. What are you f***ing doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. Percent sign, Amer sand, dollar sign. <laughs> and colon, semicolon, too. What are you Swearing... Good bit. What are these malformed tools good for? Lots of things. Like scratching those hard to reach places. Every place is hard for me to reach. Would you like a free sample? Sure. Just let me finish this one. All done. Thanks. Oh. Have you heard anything about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who the is Bruno the Bigfoot? Sam, he's speaking in tongues. Should I even bother asking you about Conroy Bumpus? No. What is this music, bro? Well, bye. He looks safe enough. I can put a wrench to this. I can't use these things together. It's important. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. Well, 
have no idea what to do with that. I think I need to rotate the restaurant so I can reach the wine. Oh, but hell if I know how to do it. Well, I'm sure this here. is somehow useful. Maybe I need an extra item. Gonna go somewhere else. Maybe we can go to the store and get that rasp. Triggers at every store. Except Max. He really loves his ice cream. Excuse me. What? I gotta go to the bathroom. Sharing this experience with you has reminded me. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I want Twinklies. More Twinklies. Christ, Max. I gotta go to the bathroom. Hey, nice hat. We all get one when we graduate Snucky U. But enough about me. What can I do for you? My little buddy has to use the facilities. Here's the key. You need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? Nothing. You Let's... have no idea how often I hear that. Let's get that rasp. That rasp, kings. Max! Hey, Sam! Uh, I mean Max. What? <laughs> Classic. I think we should keep the rasp. You're probably right. No one deserves to use restrooms that clean. Yeah. I'm excited. Who isn't? I wonder where Trixie is. I shudder to think of the gross... Why is this game... To avoid getting... But you don't wear any... Don't remind me. The weed of crime bears bitter fruit. But it makes a pretty good milkshake. Well, that's all. Okay, cool. We kept the rest. Stars now. Bye bye. Uh, let's go to another store. <laughs> this is cool. It's the mother of all crawdads. I can't use these things. This is what they do to merry-go-round horses who won't stay with a pack. This is a completely un It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max paint by number books. Oh man, yeah, I remember we, could, we can buy a bunch of Sam and Max merch. And I think we can use them. It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. I don't think I've dreamed that up. You can just uh, do some coloring, coloring book. He really loves his ice cream. I think this is a generic guy and Excuse me. What? Hey, nice hat. We all get one. I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? That'll be all. Anything else? Do you know anything about Bigfoots? Only what I read in the weekly International Evening Inquirer Star. Anything else? Snucky you? What's that? 
I sense exposition, Sam. Uh oh. I'm glad you asked, mister. Snucky U is where all Snucky's employees are sent to learn the ins, the outs, the ups, the downs, the overs, and the unders of the amazing gastronomical and cultural phenomenon that is Snucky's. Fascinating. No, it's not. Humor him. At Snucky U, we're given intensive courses in patty pounding, choosing the right button for soft drinks, and the all-important pickle jar opening. I had no idea you were so rigorously trained. Hey, I can open any jar in the country. Cool. No, it's not. Now, how can I put all that Snucky you training to use for you? Oh man, can they open the jar with the hand for us? Hey, can you open this for me? Sure, ain't a jar made I can't open. Anything else I can do for you? Bill, you gotta explain to me this thing. This Fall Guys thing. I have no idea what the fuck it is. Everybody's been talking about it. I just know it has those little blob guys in it, I think. Are you sure Snucky U's not in the Bowl Coalition? Positive. Now, what can I do for you? Okay, it's a video game. Uh, that is the type of the intellectual property that it is. But what about it? What do you do in the video game? What? They made they made a game out of fucking Ninja Warrior. That would be cool if that's real. Yeah, Takeshi's Castle. That's the one. Oh, you just play that in multiplayer? That sounds cool. How much does this game cost? I bet it has a lot of physics engines. Oh, I smell beef fritters. Beef fritters? We dip the cows right here in the kitchen. So, what do you want? Are you sure Snucky used... Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? And try to keep Snucky you out of it. Sorry, I can't think of a thing. Maybe if you were more specific? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Yeah, man, those shows ruled. Those kicked ass. Paying that kind of money for a game. Can't make me. I had no idea cacti were so festive. I don't think this store is any different. Oh, there is, there isn't one extra. Fetch. It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max dress up books. I can't use these things together. Oh hey, it's it's fucking what's his name from Day of the Tentacle. Yeah, American Gladiators, that kind of stuff was never really interesting. But the Japanese versions just rock that. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky U for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me, what Man, can I, I do for so you? I learned so much about American culture from this game. I learned that they make fake universities for soda jerks. I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? That'll be all. Anything else? Bed Nothing. costs thousands, you thousands have no to idea how sign often up to I hear a that. snacky youth in university, so then you can work at minimum wage. I mean, if I were American, that's what I would do. Can we use these? Can we play these games?
Yeah, there we go. Ah, cool stuff. This. Oh, nice. <laughs> Princess outfit. The bride, actually. The bride's. Silly. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, whoops. <laughs> this motherfucker said groon naming my channel to groon here we go <laughs> yeah this is, this is the coolest part of the game What about the others? Oh, okay. My god, this box is huge. Hey, let me try and figure out if uh, if those uh, fucking adult coloring book things are any worth. And I'm glad I'm making you watch this. I hope you're enjoying it. Why do I have two white crayons? I have two white ones. Whoops. Oh, you right click and it gives you black. Is the car black or white? I forgot. <laughs> this is Clip Studio, yeah. Yeah, black and white, but which top is black? Which part is black and which part is white? Whoops. I think this is supposed to be white, because there's just one palette. Yeah, yes. And this is... Pink one.
Yeah, the front should be blocked, right? This. Who knows? God only knows. I don't know, man. Coloring books don't don't do it for me. If anything, they do the opposite for me. They're making me think and not relax. I can be making these sorts of decisions and be relaxed about it. I don't know how millennials can do this. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> I have the fart brain more like where haven't we been? I haven't been to the vortex. Sam, this place is making my head ping. That's probably just the metal plate in your head. This is pretty cool. Look at the uh, look at the palette swap effect on the sun here. It's interchangeable. They don't even know it. Who knows what makes these inanimate objects dance their infernal jitterbug? I do, I do! I think they're controlled by a series of really big magnets under the Earth's crust. You're an ignorant dolt, Max. Hey, little buddy. What? What do you think we should do with these paper dolls? I say we go down to the scummy side of town and give a bunch of hoods some paper cuts. Man, I think these shadows here are a bug. <laughs> Wanna do some painting, Max? You know us lagomorphs are colorblind, Sam. That's weird. So am I. Rasp, rasp, rasp. You're losing it, Sam. Well, that's all. Yeah, berserk land. Where, where can I find an egg around here? Good lord! It's a possessed outhouse! This kind of thing wouldn't happen if they had indoor plumbing. <laughs> I don't have to go. <laughs> I wonder if these things spin the other direction in Australia. I wonder if these things spin the other direction in oh, Australia. Cool, look at that. Uh, they really went with these uh, effects here on the water. Oh yeah. fun with this level. Don't play it again, Sam. <laughs> this is a completely unusable thing. It's the seamy underbelly of water. It's a big door. I can't reach the doorknob. I think you're supposed to sort of time your walk so that you're the right size for any of these doors. I'd never fit through it. I'd never fit through it. Hmm. Hey, 8-Ball. Will Max and me be together forever? That's touching, Sam, but ask it something important like, uh, when's our next meal? I'm wondering that too. You can talk to the eight ball. Will I ever recapture the carefree innocence of my youth? Outlook not so good. I had no idea I could talk to the eight ball, man. Will we ever finish this for Schlugener quest? Yes, definitely. Oh, thanks. Are you lying? Outlook not so good. Fucking this eight ball sounds like Donald Trump, bro. Are you lying? Outlook hazy. Try again. Fucking Trump, shit. 
fuck's sake. Can I go inside? Oh, it's the hit movie Abyss. Remember that one? That's a good movie. That's a mirror. What the fuck? I Rio, told you this serious? place was controlled by giant magnets buried under the Earth's crust. Lucky guess. But what do I do with the magnet? Do I want to do something? With It's a big magnet. It's a lever. I'm fucking up something. This affecting the way I change my sound. Umbrella that's fucking quacking. Yipes! Gravity's taken a holiday and lost its luggage. That's not what I'm about to lose. I think I'm gonna throw up. Throw down. Whatever. Mini vortex. Looks like all the blood went to her head years ago. Stealth Gib to Oba Wonk Oi Odd Ta. I'm upside down, cutie, not dyslexic. Oh. I feel like my sense of reality has just exploded. Try cutting down on cholesterol. I'm looking for a Bigfoot. You too? I used to have a Bigfoot map like an ice over there. Yesterday I stepped out to have my spine recompressed, and when I got back, he was gone. Thanks spine for the clip, Chief. Cool. Do you know who Conroy Bumpus is? Yes, and he was here looking for a Bigfoot. Then he got sick and had to leave. This place seems to have that effect on people. So all of these locations had their own Bigfoot that escaped. Are you feeling as mentally unstable as I am? More so. It'll wear off in a few hours. Do you sell any snow globes like this one? We used to, but not anymore. Why not? Because they were having an inexplicably bad effect on the vortex. With every new snow globe we built, the vortex got weaker and weaker. The same thing happens when I watch sitcoms. So we decided to discontinue the snow globes for financial reasons. I guess this means you don't have any snow globe stoppers. You got it. Mm. Are you feeling as mentally unstable as I am? More so. It'll wear off. We'll be back. Back, front, it's all the same to me. It's another tuft of Sasquatch hair and mange. My rabbity senses tell me that this is not Bruno's hair and mange. Or maybe I'm in love. Bigfoot. No, it says Tooth Gib. Can we try the vortex? Step right in. Their Bigfoot is named Bert. There's right here on the poster. Uh, hold on, I know what to do. It's here. an empty. Look at this fucking loom ass animation. Remember the loom? Loom was cool. Wow, the snow globe actually sucked in the pseudo mystical energies of the mystery vortex. I was hoping something like that would happen. 
That might be a good idea, but perhaps I should wait until the vortex is running. Hey, it's empty. Yeah, I need to I need to catch some vortex for for some reason or another. See what else I can do with the magnet. Only Sam would move faster. I think there's a different LucasArts game where you, where you shrink very small, but you still walk to normal speed. But not in here, not in this one. Wow, you know. Phil, thank you. I don't. I don't think that did anything. Magnets. I wonder if these things spin the other direction. I think I need to I get some th vortex here first before I can do anything. I'm just trying to remember. Well, still stuff here. Left over. Fish. It's a big fish net. Wretched refuse on a teeming shore. I'm taking the fish. I don't have to walk there just to tell me. Okay. What's going on here? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I'm risking pneumonia standing in this creek. That's what's going on. This is a guy from Fargo. Actually, this and Fargo are the most uh, culturally significant works in terms of American culture, I think. You must really love fish. Actually, I'm allergic to them. Then why do you work here? Because I'm more allergic to poverty. What's the deal with that helicopter? That helicopter is the bane of my existence. Every time I catch enough fish to fill a net, the helicopter swoops down and carries the fish to the Ball of Twine Diner in Central Dis, Minnesota. How sad. I know. It's like being stuck in a Norman Mailer novel. I don't, I don't know any of the American accents. I can never keep track of them, like which are which. This guy might as well be from fucking Queens, New York, or uh, I don't know. Like, I know two American... I, I know one American accent. It's, it's the southern one, the one from Texas. And then there's all the others. Have you seen Conroy Bumpus? No, I try not to listen to country music. When I do, I usually have an uncontrollable desire to drink a lot of beer and do illegal things to farm animals. You too? I guess he is Woody Allen. What do you know about Bigfoots? My great aunt Lois married a Bigfoot. He used to shed all over Grandma Phyllis's upholstery. I love all your movies, especially the early funny ones. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, I must have confused you with someone else. Oh. <laughs> Is you all right, Phil? You must really love fish. Actually, I'm allergic to them. Then why do you work here? Because I'm more allergic to poverty. Don't move. That's a large fiberglass fish. About this. Wait, no, I didn't mean. 
Bam. Uh. Oh, wait, I remember this. The fish appears to be held in place by a hard to reach bolt. Speaking of that one. Speaking of screwing an Allen. <laughs> that did the trick. But that's, that's the thing you should put, I think. It's kind of wobbly in here. How do I make it wobble? Hey, Max, faster? climbing this fish. You first. It's kind of wobbly in here. Hey, Max, oh. come here. Here I come. Whoa, what a catch. That's not Woody Allen X. One must admire the skill with which the wily uber trout stalks its prey. This is one of the ten most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. Holy mackerel! I'm a trout, stupid. Holy trout! <laughs> I always thought you were made of plaster. Now what? Why are we doing this? What is the goal here? I don't remember this scene. I thought we just flowed down the river. We killed him. We killed Woody Allen. Now what do we do, Sam? Told you this I'm game's thinking. good. What's that noise? It sounds like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. Oh yeah, we're going up to the twine, I, I suppose. But then why am I able to rotate? Guess we'll see. I can't believe the world will never see La La Land too. I can't believe the world will never see Annie Hall too. I, c I can do a couple of these jokes if I open the IMDb page. I told you I had a plan. <laughs> so yeah, that fucking bolt under the fish. That is some prime pixel hunting. If you've seen that, it, like, you needed to. To notice the bolt under the fish. That, that sucked big time. I, I obviously did not finish this game without a walkthrough for the first time. <laughs> we killed Woody Allen! I really think we need that loose end, Sam. Mm. I can't use these things together. Hey, Max, I've got another plan. I think I liked you better when you were clueless. Shut up and climb over the rail. See? That wasn't so bad. What are you two doing out here? Jesus. Any more bright ideas? What's his accent? Let's start Quick. crying like babies. Galileo was wrong. I don't think we were in a vacuum, Max. Hey, how will we get our car back? Wait for it. 
Oh cool, you just type in a cheat and it falls from the sky. Now we have a bunch of twine. It's 91 yards of twine. I don't know what to do with 91 yards of twine. South African Italian. I launched the car into space. It's yet another cat, a nice, round, chubby cat. Looks like he got caught in a threshing machine. Just another courier. Hey, cute little kitty with a mangled eye. How are you today? Meow? Is that all you can say? Meow, meow. I guess he just slipped through the cracks of our public school system. <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty. Meow. Sam, I really don't think we're going to get much out of this. Yeah. Well, I'm stuck, so that's obviously a good stopping point. I'm hungry as well. Let's go back to the circus. Where do we want to go? <laughs> he turned himself into a peacock. <laughs> it's time to partake in uh, the classic Italian dish known simply and only as pizza. <laughs> Noodles were uh, back on Tuesday, I think. Monday. I don't know what days are anymore. This is what my world is. This is how I live. Float when I piss. Oh. Shit, I can't use the mic during the during the nice flower intro. Yes, I guess. Gonna make this atmospheric. Alright. Oh, thanks for joining me. I will uh, continue this and probably finish the game next time. Next. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. That's, that's another Americanism for you. Next Saturday, same time. Hope you join me again for some uh, of this stupid shit. And then after that, I don't know, maybe I'll stream some, some other some other point and click adventures. Be something that I haven't played four times. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just play Loom again. Alright. It's time. <laughs>